in order to highlight or illustrate the <coughs> technique of divided difference table in case of tabular points with unequal difference means we have x0 x1 x2 x3 let us work with four nodes only for simplicity we have a small board and to get the concept we represents only four nodes x0 y0 x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 where these differences are unequal okay these three differences are unequal and we have unequal difference term so we intend to find the technique of divided difference so what is what it is all about it is that represented as small delta we represent the first difference as nothing but y1 minus y0 by x1 minus x0 y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and y3 minus y2 by x3 minus x2 fairly reasonable isn't it so divided difference that means we took the we took the ratio of the differences between the first node then between the second node and then between the third and second node here we take the difference of first and second and first node sorry and divide it by <coughs> x1 minus x0 that is the difference between x1 and x0 first mode the second mode and first mode sorry then in the second case obviously when we have four nodes we have three fast differences isn't it so and when you move on to calculate the <coughs> second difference what we have let me write it with a different color we have the difference of these two difference of fast difference which is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 minus y1 minus y0 by x1 minus x0 divided by the corresponding difference between of these two nodes which has which are the corresponding nodes see when we consider this delta this value of delta which is the fast difference of y2 and y1 and when you consider the fast difference of these two nodes we must have as the end points x0 and x2 so we should divide this difference by x2 minus x0 only isn't it so similarly when we take the difference of fast difference between these two nodes that is y3 minus y2 by x3 minus x2 minus y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 then we have to take the ratio of this difference with which two the last one is x3 which corresponds to this difference and the other one is x1 corresponding to this difference isn't it so whenever we are taking the considering these two differences these two fast differences the nodal points extreme nodal points are x3 in the downstream and x1 in the upstream so we should divide it with x3 minus x1 i think it is clear to you isn't it so now if you calculate this you will get a very nice symmetry let us calculate this y2 by x2 minus x1 
minus y1 by here it is x2 minus x1 isn't it so y1 by x2 minus x1 and here it is so it adds up x1 minus x0 and then this minus minus gives it plus y0 by x1 minus x0 and the whole thing is divided by x2 minus x0 I think you can follow this expression is written here 1 by x2 minus x0 is written outside and you plug this two values like this y2 by x2 minus x1 then minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and minus y1 by x1 minus x1 this y1 is taken common and we have 1 by x2 minus x1 plus 1 by x1 minus x0 since both are minus but this is a plus y0 by x1 minus x0 I hope you can match this with this have a look and let me wipe out the other things I request you to match this with this and now if we calculate this we can easily see that this term is nothing but y1 into x2 minus x1 here and x1 minus x0 here so this x1 cancels out and we have x2 minus x0 in the numerator isn't it so and in the denominator we have x2 minus x1 into x1 minus x0 isn't it so and then we have plus y0 by x1 minus x1 this term I have written <coughs> earlier so I have just added these two terms and it turns out to be x2 minus x0 in numerator and in the denominator it is x2 minus x1 into x1 minus x0 now by this time I think you have matched these two so I may wipe this out to reveal that this term has a beautiful symmetry y2 by x2 minus x0 and x2 minus x1 plus y1 by just see that this cancels out and we have here x2 minus x1 and x1 minus x2 but we have a minus and we adjust it to get it plus for this symmetry what is the symmetry that whenever we have y1 in the numerator we have x1 minus x2 and x1 minus x0 in the denominator see here we have y2 in the numerator and we have x2 minus x1 x0 and x2 minus x1 in the denominator similarly whenever we have y0 in numerator we must have x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 in the denominator just see whether we have it or not we don't have it but if we multiply these two and then adjust the sign we have exactly this which we want so delta of y1 sorry y0 y1 and y2 delta 2 of actually difference of first difference is termed as second difference and this can be written as this which is y0 by x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 plus y1 by x1 minus x2 into x1 minus x0 and then y2 by x2 minus x0 and x2 minus x1 obviously when we have here delta 2 of y1 y2 and y3 we may similarly with the same argument write it as y1 by x1 minus x2 into x1 minus x3 plus y2 by x2 minus x1 and x2 minus x3 
and y3 by x3 minus x1 and x3 minus x2. I request you to check it from the table. And I expect that if you can find this <coughs> expression, you will have a very nice idea about what the difference table, divided difference table is all about. Let me recall that <coughs> we have what we have earlier. Let me write it <coughs> once again to recall. We have actually four nodes x0, x1, x2, x3, y0, y1, y2, y3 and we have the first difference as y1 minus y, y1 minus y0 by x1 minus x0. Then we have y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and then we have y2 minus y3 by sorry we should write it as the order should be maintained y3 minus y2 by x3 minus x2. You should not mess with the order. If you take the forward difference that is y1 minus y2 you must have x1 minus x0 in the denominator. Then y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and then y3 minus y2 by x3 minus x2. Otherwise you may go for the backward difference that is y0 minus y1 by x0 minus x1 and then you should take here y1 minus y2 by x1 minus x2 or y2 minus y3 by x2 minus x3. You should maintain the order. Then what is the second difference? Difference of first difference. This one I calculated and this one I request you people to calculate so that you can easily find what del 3 will look like. Del 3 will be nothing but this which is del 2 of y0, y1, y2. This we have just calculated. Isn't it so? And this I request you to calculate on your own. And then delta 3 will be this minus this divided by x3 minus x0. Isn't it so? These are the two endpoints. This is del 3 and we have all the four arguments involved here. This is equal to del 2 of y1, y2, y3 minus del 2 of y0, y1, y2 divided by x3 minus x0. And with the same argument, you will find that this will be nothing but y0 by x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 into x0 minus x3 plus y1 by x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 plus y2 by x2 minus x0 x2 minus x1 into x2 minus x3 plus y3 by x3 minus x0 x3 minus x1 and x3 minus x2 and that is the symmetry of the divided difference. Okay.